How much blood can you lose before it becomes a problem? Well, let's find out. Okay, so I have 10 glasses here, and each glass is representing 10% of blood volume. So get, for reference, when you give blood, you give about 10% of your blood volume. Now, you might feel some lightheadedness, uh, some anxiety, maybe even increased respiratory rate for a short amount of time in order to compensate for that. But truly, our body can manage a 10% blood loss relatively well. But however, once we start to cross the threshold of about 20%, especially 30%, that's when our body starts to recognize it, especially when we lose it fast. So our respiratory rate's going to increase, our heart rate's going to increase, and we're going to start to go into a compensatory hemorrhagic or hypovolemic shock, which is going to be something that we're going to want to deal with. However, once we start to cross the threshold of 40% to 50%, this patient is now in a life-threatening state that may end up going into cardiac arrest because of how much blood loss they have, especially if they lost it in a very rapid state. So that's why it's so important to try and stop the bleed before we get across this threshold of 40%. That way we're going to limit the chances of this patient deteriorating further. But as soon as we get across that threshold, a transfusion, a blood transfusion is very, very important for this patient in order to manage it. And even then, it may not be enough. Thousands are raving about our best-selling 100 Patients Scenario book. And so we started creating the expansion books to go along with it, including the cardiac arrest scenarios. We have the airway scenarios, pediatric scenarios, and the MCI scenarios. And you can get this entire bundle at the link in our bio.